Hi Scorpio, welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for returning. For those of you who have been following me and for anyone who's just come on today, thank you so much. Please join my channel. It'll be awesome. All right. So anyway, we're going to do a love reading, a twin flame, soulmate, a romance, wherever you are in your love life. Okay. So I have to also let you know that um, Scorpio, Venus is in retrograde starting tonight through September 3rd. And it seems like all my readings are been about the past, about past love, past hurts, past pain, past betrayals. Whew. Anyway, those are good times to, uh, in the moment, release the past, um, even if they're not in your life anymore. And if you're with someone new, do the right thing uh, for everything that you might have done wrong in the past, make your wrongs right with compassion and love, okay? And I feel that there's a really, I don't know, fiery energy in your life this weekend. There's definitely a time, I think, for you to take the plunge, you know, even if you're not with anyone. Uh, look around and see where your relationships are, where do you want to go next, because you're definitely on the move. I feel you're a huntress or hunter right now. So let's see, where's the energy for our Scorpios in this reading for today, July 22nd? Magic Scorpio. You have the magic today. You can manifest whatever you want. Uh, definitely take the time. Uh, this is a profound time of energy for you. Today, this weekend, if you're with someone, create the magic around yourself and this other person and know that there's so many possibilities to expand beyond the moment, okay? And whatever we do now, know that it makes the past right, okay? We, we leave, we release, we heal past timelines even past lives, okay, because in our present moment is what creates our future. So whatever you do now in love, compassion, and healing heals our past, okay? So let's see, um, my dear Scorpios, let's see what's going on in the header of this relationship, of this time, this moment with, uh, let's see, Venus in retrograde. <laughs> okay, so let's see, what is it that we need to let our Scorpios know in this moment of this reading, Twin Flames in Love, Romance, Soulmates, Awakened. Yes, you woke up this morning and said, I want to move forward. Yeah, they are maybe unawakened. You're awake and they're unawakened. That's what I feel here, okay? Um, you're trying to create this magic to awaken someone. All right, so let's see what else can happen here. What else do our Virgos need to know? Yeah, you're full of sparks, Scorpio. I think it's time to awaken the unawakened. <laughs> All right, and maybe that's within you, and that's what this magic is about. It's time for you to awake the unawakened parts of you. There's a definitely uh, codependency in some of your past relationships, and perhaps the one, there could be one now, right now, that uh, there's a dark side that's being exposed, which is fine, because that's what, this is what I'm saying. It's, it's Venus in retrograde. It's bringing up the karmic past. Uh, anything that was unresolved in the wrong way is an opportunity now, and it's in the heart of the reading. So this person could have been a karmic partner, definitely, definitely is a soulmate or a twin flame who's come into your present life, who uh, is here to resolve and help you and help themselves as well move forward and expand their heart and mind, okay? And the relationship will definitely um, benefit from it, whatever it's going to be, all right? Because sometimes we only have people in our lives for a short time. They're here to help us, all right? So let's see. What else is it in the probable possibility of this heading, the energy here with magic and uh, the past? Okay, so I have here, um, you're feeling that perhaps this person in your life cannot be trusted. Um, do they make false promises to you, Scorpio? Could it be that you're trying to awaken yourself um, from this karmic tie and uh, you know perhaps they're they're using you in such a way that is making you feel very vulnerable and feeling like hmm 
I need to manifest something different. I need to manifest more that's more positive, okay? But it is only through healing the past that we do that, okay? So this is very interesting. This is really deep, uh, Scorpio. So let's see, what else in the tarot can we um, reveal to our Scorpio? Let our spirit guides guide us through this reading. What is it that our Scorpios need to know, need to be aware of, need to be awakened to? Because you might have been not awake, okay? And now you're seeing something. Yeah, this person could definitely be someone that's creating heavy energies around you. And now you need to manifest something much lighter. Let's see. We'll see. We have the Ace of Swords. So yeah, so if you're awakened yourself, there's definitely some clarity coming in this decisions of this connection. Uh, the Ace of Swords is about breakthroughs. It's about clarity. It's about really positive energy coming through to help you move in a direction um, to manifest something better uh, within the relationship. And it's only through our honesty and through our merging of our secrets, our truths, that we become closer in a relationship. So when we don't have that open, honest uh, conversations, revealing things that are secrets, we can never be as close as we want to be. It's only when we reveal all of us, all of ourselves, that we become really close. So let's see what's in the heart. And we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. These are definitely about the past. So you're having some past um, energy coming up about the past, regretting certain situations. There's some sorrow, some nightmares in your heart, but you still have hope here. You have this magic. There's definitely going to be a breakthrough, uh, which I feel here, and, and it's definitely coming in because you have a lot to in your heart now um, that needs to be released and healed, okay, so that you can have a, a much better opportunity in this relationship that's going on, that's bringing it up, actually. This relationship is bringing up all this energy, which is a positive thing. Don't look at it as anything negative. It's an opportunity to either heal the past, make up your mind, make decisions that are better, using the manifesting energy, knowing what you want, clarity, and knowing what you don't want, okay? Um, and know that that will clear the past, not to waste energy in, uh, with something that's not going to support you. And we have a new beginning. So to me, it sounds like um, you definitely want a new beginning. You are definitely trying to bring in a better version of this relationship. You want a new beginning. Or you finally are learning something from the past healing and you have clarity now about what you don't want and that you want a new beginning, perhaps. You've learned your lesson, Scorpio. So let's see here. Um, I always like to sh keep shuffling for the next row. That's what I like to do, so we will do that. Okay, let's do that. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, reevaluation, long term view. Yes, that's exactly what we want, right? So that's going on. Then we have the judgment. So there's a renewal of love, um, some past actions. Uh, that are going to be healed and consequences that are coming as well. So the judgment card is always about um, things, your heart will be happier, right? That's what it seems here as you continue to look at this in more clarity, you know, in a long-term view and, and, and know that you've learned from your past what you don't want anymore and what you are letting go of, you want a new beginning, okay? You awakened the unawakened parts of you because this becomes an unawakened but with the magic here you're manifesting you're opening up to the uh, unawakened parts of your relationship and so let's see what else can we um, see here in this card here in the last row here how we develop this row here and more information about this moment in love for our Scorpios we have success, the Six of Wands, new love, new beginning. Um, you want a high pri profile of love. You know, you want that. You want the real thing, and that's exactly what we all want: truth, honesty, 
you don't want to settle for anything that's going to give you nightmares and regret and sorrow. You don't want codependency either, all right? So let's see, what else? No, a few, a lot more, well, we have to finish this row and then we have to clarify and then we have the scarlet as well, um, energy to put out. And then we will see the final message for our Scorpios, let's see. Here we go. So we have the Hermit, Solitude, Soul Searching, definitely. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups, Romantic Proposals, definitely. Love is arriving for you, Scorpio. And then we have the Two of Wands, waiting for the future plans for all this recalibrating of your love and your path. Um, you're needing to choose a new path, and that's what you want. You're waiting for the future um, to see what could be and what is it that perhaps you put too much weight on uh, on a relationship. So know that this definitely is going to be a lot of introspect here, trying to manifest this new love that will arrive. It's in the heart of your reading, um, and it may be with this new person, a new beginning, we uh, beginning a new day with them and waiting for the future plans, needing to uh, choose the path that you want with this person. So let's look at the lover's path and clarify to see if there's any added um, energy here to this reading that could clarify even more and confirm for us, for our Scorpios. Let's see. Time and then let's see. Okay, for our Scorpios, here we go. Oh, we have Grace. What a beautiful card. This is gorgeous. This is all about healing. This is like the star in the tarot. Okay, so Grace in the lover's path is, is about healing. It's about really positive, positive energy that's going to be manifested through this magical energy that that you are in right now you are definitely working on it okay so let's see here and then we have balance okay so this is another uh, major arcana here this is wonderful so your heart is definitely going to be on the right path making the right choice balance is coming within your heart and your mind to be able to, uh, to make decisions about the now or the future and then we have the Four of Staves. This is the definite twin flame foundation of a partnership, of marriage, of any long-term uh, relationship that's coming. Um, you are going to be creating the foundation uh, as you keep clearing and healing the past and making the right manifesting of energy, bringing you uh, your new version of love, okay? The new version of you as well. It's, it's, it all goes together. So Scorpio, let's see if there's any scarlet energy here that we should be awakened to that you might have not been uh, awakened to before because it came in with the unawakened. <laughs> so you are awakening, you are awakening to something much more higher in frequency of love. All right, let's see what the scarlet um, has to show us here. Yes, okay. You don't wanna feel restricted. All right, when you're manifesting, just make sure that you're not restricted. You know, be open, be open. You know, everything is a challenge in life. So we can't feel restricted and, and constrained because then we're not moving, right? So there's fear there. You have to let go of the fear. Oh, there's children in the heart of this reading. Um, there are children, there might be some children in this uh, relationship as well, or the new relationship will be part of someone having children as well. Uh, it, it, it could go either way. It looks like children might be in the relationship now, or it will be. Uh, so it's very important that you create a solid path here so that support can come from um, this relationship. And then this is your soulmate. I don't know how many times these cards have come out. This is amazing. So yes, um, this relationship or this future relationship will be a feeling of a soulmate relationship, a twin flame with love arriving and um, deep, 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 you know, perspectives 
of manifesting the, the beautiful, beautiful healing of your past into your future, showing the balance and the foundation of the four of staves, giving you that solid relationship with your soulmate. So let's see what other um, one card for the future self for our Scorpios. What can we send our Scorpios with a message just for themselves? One little card for you, my little Scorpios. Here we go. Okay. Embrace what you've learned and cherish your experiences because they are divinely fated. So everything you're doing now is the magic of love that you are manifesting and clearing your past. So keep on, Scorpio, and just stay in love. 